there'll be a range of photographs uh, on view in this exhibition. And I think if you look at them collectively, you will see a very intimate view of Ali. You won't see him mugging for the camera as he did for millions of other photographers. You'll see somebody who in some ways let down his guard with Gordon Parks there, which speaks to a real a sort of mutual admiration and respect between the, the two men. I would say many of the photographs you'll see in our exhibition will be brand new for our audiences. I think Gordon Parks and Muhammad Ali came together uh, to shape this sympathetic image of Ali. And that, uh, on the part of Gordon Parks, is a result of his uh, astute abilities and talents as a portraitist, of knowing how to get to know his subjects. Um, and on Ali's part, um, somebody of that, uh, somebody who had a, an enormous ego, who had a lot of bravado, it was the result of Ali allowing Gordon Parks to get close to him, to show sort of the real Ali um, when many, many, many other photographers were really only allowed to picture Ali at a certain distance or wearing a certain public persona. This connection that Ali and Gordon Parks had during these two moments is one that uh, many people will find fascinating. They both, I think, understood the importance of coming together to create a collective portrait of Ali at a time when he sorely needed um, sort of a sympathetic helping hand from, from Gordon Parks. Muhammad Ali, of course, um, went on to become uh, an incredibly important figure in the fight for social justice and for peace, um, probably the most famous athlete of all time. And these are photographs of him um, in his early 20s, young, charismatic, um, full of hope.